What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for Stochastic.com, back again with the NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Tuesday, January 31st. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman, only place you're going to get updates to my sim results as we get closer to lock, and it's where I want you to hit me up with questions. Who do you like in this video? Who do you dislike in this video? If you have any questions at all for today's slate, find the thread with this video in it on my Twitter feed, again, at Josh Engelman, hit me up with whatever you want to know. Finally, we got to talk about BetMGM, sponsor of this video. If you're interested in one free month of Stochastic Plus Platinum, I told you this deal was going to change. You can see it on the screen, briefly updated. I did my best. One free month of Stochastic Plus Platinum, along with up to $1,000 in first bet insurance, then all you got to do is sign up using the link in the description. Now, we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Donovan Mitchell, Drew Holiday, Paul George, PJ Washington, and Julius Randle on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. First up at number five, I'm looking at RJ Barrett. He's shooting guard, small forward eligible, 6,800. Projected for 36, the goal's 39. He's in the optimal line of 27% of the time. Barrett and the rest of the Knicks, spoiler alert, are going to look fantastic today. They're generally a slow team. They get to play a massive pace up spot against the Lakers. The Lakers defense is like middle of the pack, even when AD is around. So we're getting these guys in a huge pace up spot playing big time minutes. 37 minutes here for Barrett, basically like a 0.95 fantasy point per minute guy, 26% usage, 23 and a half points, six and a half boards, three assists, and maybe a stock. The positionality is great. The price works, the playing time works, the matchup works for this five gamer. Next up at number four, I'm going to Zach Levine. Similarly, shooting guard, small forward eligible, 7,200, projected for 39, goals 41, optimal lineup 29% of the time. 37 minutes for Levine. It's a tough spot here against the Clippers. They do lose 2.7 possessions below their average, but Levine a bit better on a per minute basis than RJ Barrett. But these guys look very similar today. 37 minutes, 1.05 fantasy points per minute, 28% usage for Levine, 25 points, a little over five boards, a little over four assists, maybe a stock. Whether you're getting to Levine or Barrett or both, you're getting that flexibility in positions and you're getting guys that are playing massive minutes right now. Back to the Knicks at number three for Jalen Brunson. I love Brunson in this spot. Point guard, shooting guard eligibility, 7,500, projected for 42, which is really all you're looking for here. Anything north of that is going to be a win. 32% 32 of the time, he's in the optimal lineup. Again, massive minutes, 37. Again, pace up spot against the Lakers. They gain two possessions over their average. Over 1.1 fantasy points per minute for Brunson. 26 points, six and a half assists, four boards and a steal. I love this range, but I'm really loving the Knicks. As of right now, we have basically no value to speak of on this slate, but getting to the Knicks in this pace up spot, that is the place that I'm most concentrated for right now. Staying with the Knicks, we're going to Quentin Grimes. Now I know no one's gonna like this, but we gotta talk it through because the price is different. He's shooting guard, small forward eligible once again, 4,100. Projected for 24, the goal's 25 and a half. He's in the optimal lineup 35% of the time. He's crossed that 25 mark, two out of the last 10 times, which is all you're looking for on a five game slate. It doesn't take much. We're talking 35 minutes a game here for Grimes. Flexibility, we have no pay down options. So this is what's working right now for Quentin Grimes. The fact that you can roster him for $4,100. You get that pace up spot against the Lakers. You don't get a great stat line, 12 points, four and a half boards, two and a half assists, and a little over a stock, but he doesn't have to go crazy. 25 fantasy points is not outlandish in 35 minutes. If he gets to 30, you basically have to have him today on FanDuel, at least the way that it's set up now. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. You got to follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. It is the only place you're going to get updates to my Sims, and it's where I want you to hit me up with any questions you may have. Finally, bet MGM, one month of Stochastic Plus Platinum. Up to $1,000 in first bet insurance. What's not to like? Click the link in the description. My number one contender for right now is LaMelo Ball. He's point guard eligible, 8K, projected for 45. The goal is 45. He's in the optimal lineup 36% of the time. Huge ceiling here for Ball. 35 minutes, 1.25 fantasy points per minute. 
He's a 30% usage guy, 25, seven and six and a half as a stat line with a stock and a half. It's a slight pace up spot for Milwaukee. Here's the problem. The Hornets are 12 point dogs in Milwaukee. This is not gonna be a great spot for Charlotte. But on the like, you know, they're, they should win this game like 20% of the time. They keep it competitive like another 15. In those 35% options, LaMelo Ball is just going to be a large part of the reason that this looks good. He does too much on the floor. He hits too many categories. So when this game is ultra competitive, LaMelo Ball looks great at 8K. For right now, based on the way that this slate is set up, he is my number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Tuesday, January 31st. DraftKings version is around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We are back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.